Hey, let me show you my favorite tips, tricks and the features of your PS5 Slim. And that's also a quick disclaimer that for some of these features, I will put the link into the description of this video just to show you how to do this correctly because if I want to explain you, for example, how to use the remote play, it will take a lot of time. So did you know that you can actually use your phone? In my case, I'm using the Android phone and control your PS5 Slim. Take a look. I'm using this on-screen controller and I can, for example, watch some media like YouTube right here or even play the games. So when I go here, just like this, I can open my favorite games. So let's say that I want to open the Fortnite. I can do this and play Fortnite on my Android phone. But now let's go for the second option for my second feature. But now let's close this one. Let's go to the home. And on the phone, we can actually start the game. So when you have this application called the PS app, in this one, you can go into your games, the game library, click on the Fortnite, and you can actually click to play on a console. And now this game will open on your console without actually, you can do this without actually grabbing your controller. And on this application, you can find other useful features. Like for example, you can store and uh, take preview of all of your taken screenshots, all of the screen records. You can also buy games. It's for me, honestly, a little bit easier to navigate in my phone instead of doing this on the PS5 Slim. You can also find here the friend list. You can find all of the incoming requests and your messages. The link to this feature, how to set it up with your phone, you can find for sure into the description of this video. And now I'm going actually to grab my controller. And now let me show you how you can play games and watch YouTube at the same time. So I'm gonna open the Fortnite and now if I want to split the screen and open uh, the YouTube on the left or the right side, I have to click on the PlayStation button. Now from here, I have to open the game base and in the messages, I have to type to someone this message, the youtube.com and then I can click on it and it will be open in this pop-up view. Now I have to click options button on my controller and go to pin to side. Now, as you can see, I can put it to the left or the right side, click X to confirm. And now you are in the game and you can actually play and watch the videos. If you want to go back to your, to your card, click two times on the PlayStation button. Here we are back. So let's say I'm going to accept this cookies. And now I can open, for example, the first recommended video or maybe this one from the Mr. Beasts. So as you can see, I can open it and then I can click on this PlayStation button two times. And here I am. You can also do the same uh, with the Twitch streams. So it will looks basically the same. So we have to go to the message, type Twitch, and here we can open the twitch.tv website, click on the options button, tap to pin to side, and now we can open your favorite streams um, in this screen. Now let's get rid of it and let's go for the home screen. Okay, let me just close this card. There we go. And now from here, uh, you can also quickly appear offline. Uh, here you can find your online status and you can switch it by going to the offline. So if you want to play alone with your, without your friends, you can actually do this by simply changing your online status. When you go to the Play Store, I mean to the PlayStation Store, you can actually find some free games. So to do this, you have to go to the search. 
you can go to the bros then go to the left side click to sort and filter tap on the price and select free games and now you can find all of the free games that you can actually use on the ps5 slim and uh, you can actually use the game from the ps4 so when i go for example on this game free on free freestyle as you can see right here i can find information that this game comes from the ps4 but still you can play them on your ps5 and the same works with the games that you have on your disc so here i have the tekken 7 as you can see it also comes from the ps4 uh, and you can input the disc from the ps4 to your ps5 slim and still you will be able to play these games when you want to capture um, any actions in your games you can do this by creating the video clips so we can click on the playstation button on your controller or oh, i mean this action button so it actually appears just right here that's the action button that you have to click and thanks to this option you can actually take the screenshots or start the new recording of course you can record the screen only when you are in the game and then you can open your media gallery from here and you will be able to get uh, access to all of your records and screenshots that you take uh, by using this ps5 slim so that's my uh, record from the astro game Okay, next uh, you can also use Discord on your PS5 Slim. So you will have to open the Discord on your mobile device. In my case, that's the Pixel 7 Pro. And from here, you have to join to the voice channel like this. Then you have to swipe up, select to join on the PlayStation. And now just wait for a few seconds. It is almost finished. There we go. As you can see in the right upper corner, we can find information that now we are connected uh, with our mobile phone and we can use Discord. When you click on the PlayStation button on this side, you can find uh, your current voice chat. When you click on the options button, you, when you click X, you can actually find the na name of this voice chat. You can adjust some parameters, like for example, set the volume balance between your game and the voice chat of the Discord. You can also mute all of your um, friends. And from here, you can open all the vo voice chat settings. So here you can, for example, share your voice for the broadcasts uh, and the video clips when we are in the party. We can also turn on or off the chat, chat transcription and other features. You can also set your microphone level by going here. And the last thing will be in the screen and the video. So when you open it and go to the video output, you can actually change the resolution of your preview. So if you are, if you are using 2K or 4K monitor or TV, you can actually click right here and get better resolution. I can also recommend you to turn on the ALLM. That's the auto low latency mode. In my case, it is not working because my monitor doesn't support this feature. But from here, you can actually get it. And that's basically it. That's my favorite things on the PS5 Slim. Right now, please subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.